All right, thousands of illegals are outraged over their treatment at the border, and you're paying for them to complain about it with a series of hotlines. Yup, a new report reveals hotlines set up during the Obama administration received thousands of complaints by illegals unsatisfied with their amnesty rights. Think about that for a second. Tying up phone lines for 85,000 hours and costing taxpayers $15 million. Art, El, uh, Art Del Cueto, the vice president of the National Border Patrol Council and the president of the local Border Patrol Union in Arizona, joins us. Art, I was stunned by this. The number and the fact that this exists. Are you? It's, what's more stunning is a lot of these complaints were fr frivolous complaints. So not only is the money that was being spent on the individuals that are answering the phone calls, but also it was taking agents away from the field when frivolous complaints were being made. So they would open up investigations, you'd remove agents from the field, and now you have less agents on the field. I mean, it was, it's horrible. What message are we sending to illegals sneaking in that we have complaint hotlines for them? What are we saying? That they have as many, as equal rights to us? I think the bigger picture is we were empowering these groups uh, under the Obama administration, uh, you know, they concentrated on empowering the groups that were anti-law enforcement. They were empowering groups that would make complaints on law enforcement officers. Uh, we're seeing a change, so, I mean, we're happy about that. I mean, you had a lot to do with the president getting elected. When his, the union jumped on board, people got the sense that uh, President uh, Trump was being serious. Meanwhile, just got a few numbers at you. The employee conduct complaints, 3,039 complaints, uh, employee conduct. And frequent searches and time delays because of this, 1,222. Uh, and also long lines, 852 complaints about long lines. That must just really burn you up. It's, it's, it, it angers you, and like I said, it was, it was a huge morale dump on a lot of the agents that were out there because it was, it was hard to do your, it's hard to do your job, uh, and that's what these agents were doing. You know, I work out there with the agents. Right. I'm out there in the field. We have professional gotcha. agents, but we were seeing little things as much as, you know, somebody wasn't listening, and you would say, you know, you'd raise your voice, and you'd say, hey, you need to sit down, and that would cause a complaint. Well, that, that, that complaint would go through. That would pull the agent gotcha. out of the field because now he's under investigation. And by the way, Art, there's a new sheriff in town. That's what he said yesterday. Thanks so much.